what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. This is going to be the first video of my brown girl series. I'm so excited. This is going to be my take and my personal preferences on what I think looks good on brown skin tones. Light brown, medium brown, dark brown. I have a range of things for everyone. And I'll just give you guys a couple of tips and tricks that I like to do to make some products work for me even though they're not meant to be brown products. So let's get into it. I'm so excited. I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, you're not brown, you're not this, you're not that. Girl, my skin is 10 AF. So yes, I am a brown girl. So I have over 25 products here to share with you guys. I'm not doing lip swatches, but I will insert swatches of these colors with the names on it so you guys are able to get it at any time you want. Um, so they are gonna be hand swatches, not lip swatches, because girl, I can't take this off right now. Like, that's gonna be crazy. But these are products that are tried and true that I personally love for brown skin. Some might not work for you because it's for a different shade of brown. Some will, some won't. So it's honestly up to personal preference. I have a wide range of lipsticks as well as a wide range of liquid lipsticks. These colors I have in my hand um, are 10 colors that I absolutely swear by. I love them. I think they are amazing. And these are colors that I literally like look for. Like where is my Spill Cosmetics? Where is my ColourPop Beeper? You know, these are colors that I will call out by name because I love them that much. And I know the look that I'm gonna achieve with them. That being said, I wanted to mention something to you guys. I, some of you guys might know this about me, some of you guys might not. I have a trick where I use Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. You've probably heard me say it a million times in my videos or on my lives or just in general. I have an issue with separating myself from the Chestnut Lip Liner only because it is a Staple like a state like if I'm on a des deserted island and I had to bring like a lipstick and a lip liner It would be chestnut lip liner 100% like I Cannot be without it. It's I feel like the only lip liner that you need in your life. So that being said if you guys are having issues with colors or you like a specific color, but it's so light and Or it just doesn't make itself right on your lips my solution is to line and fill in your lips with the chestnut lip liner. I want to put it out there that MAC chestnut lip liner is not the only thing that you can use. I sometimes use the Kiko Milano 314, which is almost done as you can see. This is a chocolatey brown lip liner and I want to share with you guys what it looks like. So if you guys can find any lip liner, does not matter the brand, as long as it's a dark chocolate brown lip liner, you will be golden. You'll be set. It does not have to be MAC Chestnut. It does not have to be Kiko Milano. NYX has a lip liner that I just ordered. Hopefully it's coming today. It's called NYX Espresso, and that's supposedly a dupe for Chestnut. Um, it doesn't matter because you're covering it up anyways. It does not matter. So if you guys want to go that route, I would absolutely recommend doing it. Any brand you find, these are just some of the ones that I personally like, any brand you find that has a dark, rich, brown lip liner, use it. Line your lip and then fill it in a little bit and then go ahead and put your lipstick on top and then just kind of mix it around on your lips, really work it in. If you want to use a lip brush, 100% do it. Um, I find just kind of like doing that, you guys will see in some of my videos that I like to do, um, that helps. And then after you finish mixing it up, if you want to go back in with a little bit more of the liner, 100% totally can to add a little bit more depth to the lip. And I swear to you, it will make any nude lipstick your perfect nude color. Your perfect nude color. You'll be able to make maybe lipstick that you already have work so much better than before. So then I wanted to mention an alternative to the chestnut lip liner and something that I've been recently doing because it makes so much more sense is I picked up a brown liquid lipstick. This one is called Cloudscape and this is from ColourPop Cosmetics. It is literally chestnut lip liner in a liquid lipstick form. And I thought, you know what? That makes so much more sense. It's a matte lipstick 
which is great for me because I don't want anything like, you know, shiny or anything for me to put on top of it. I want something matte that acts as a lip liner. Um, that is also a brown. It's not the exact same thing, but it does have the exact same effect. Since I fill in my lips with the chestnut lip liner anyways, why not just fill in my lips with a dark brown lip stain? The only downside to that though and why I like to use a lip liner is because you can easily outline your lips perfectly. But this one you might have to go in with a lip brush or just be very very precise with the actual brush and then go in with whatever else you have on top of it. I personally like the ColourPop ones because I don't feel like they're heavy on the lips. It is possible that if you use a different brand of lip stain it might be a little bit thicker. You just want to get a very thin formula to use. So that's another trick that I have for you guys. So these ones are my top 10 liquid lipsticks and I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. These are my favorite nudes from ColourPop and I will tell you guys what they are. Echo Park is a gorgeous color. It's like a pinky peachy nude and I love this color. This is the most perfect peachy nude color ever. It is so pretty. It's like a pinky peachy nude. So that's what it looks like. The next color that I love is called Mess Around, which is a little bit more of a lighter brown nude. This one also looks great with chestnut. Of course, all of them are going to look great with chestnut. So there's that one. Then I love 951 from ColourPop. I personally like the ColourPop satin lipsticks as opposed to the matte ones. I feel like they're not as drying and they still last a very long time on the lips. This one is 951, which is a really nice, perfect nude for like my skin tone, which is like, I'm not very dark, but I'm not very light. I'm just kind of right in the middle, like a medium kind of brown. I have all of my foundation shades as well down below. If you guys want to reference that, um, that is a great way to see what colors will look good on you because these are all colors that I'm obsessed with on my own skin tone. This one is Bay. Like this, I think, out of everything. Maybe next to another one is my, this is, this is in my top two favorites. This is called Beeper. And that's what that looks like. So pretty. I love these. So these are four of my top ten. So then we have this color, which is from the Too Faced Melted line. This is the Melted Chocolate. This one smells amazing and it is such a great color for brown skin I'm obsessed oh, it smells just like chocolate I love it love that color oh my god that oh, it's so pretty I love trendsetter from Huda Beauty for sure one of my favorites that's what that one looks like they're all very similar to each other and I love Spice Girl from Huda Beauty. I think this is a really nice color because it it's a little bit deeper, but if you are deeper in skin tone, go deeper in lipstick. And then when you put it on, it's going to look like a lighter version. Oh, that's what that looks like. For my skin tone, it's going to be a little bit dark, so it's not going to look like a nude nude, but if you are darker than me and you apply this, it's going to look like a real nude on you. And then the next one, and one of my absolute favorites, and this one I would recommend getting, this one and Bieber I would recommend getting out of all of them. This works so well on every skin tone, no matter what. This is called Stepping Out from Smashbox. This is one of those products that you repurchase because it is that good. The formula, the texture, the color payoff, everything. Um, that is Smashbox Stepping Out. I love that one. So the next one that I'm obsessed with is this one from Spill Cosmetics. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous nude. I love this color because I feel like it is that perfect Kylie Jenner lip color like the original like OG OG it's such a nice color I love it and then when you have it on your lips just look so like juicy and big and plump and I don't know why it's a matte so it doesn't like plump it up but I don't know just the the way it looks I just I love this on my lip and then the last one that I have is called bow and arrow I don't have it on me right now but bow and arrow is like the perfect 
light nude color. It works so well on lighter skin tones as a darker nude and on like my skin tone as a very light nude and paired with chestnut and paired with that darker brown lip liner. It is gorgeous. It was my go-to way before I found any of these ones so that's like the OG but these ones have really made a name for itself in my mind and in my collection. So the next colors that I am going to share with you guys are, and I'm going to do hand swatches, colors that I love, but they're not like my every single day go-to. Like if I go into my collection and I want to try something new, these are the ones that I'm going to pull towards. And these are the ones that I feel like are gorgeous on brown skin of all ranges because I have some dark ones, I have some browns, I have some light nudes, I have some really dark ones. I think these are all great and they can all be used as nudes on a wide range of skin tones. Let's start out with the gray tones first. Um, the first color that I have is from ColourPop and this is a matte color. It is called Kapow and it's that like gray tone taupey color. And I believe that with the proper usage of it, paired with a lip liner, it will be so pretty on the lips as like a like a taupey nude color. I love that. This one is a little bit lighter, but still in that kind of taupey, mauve-ish kind of family. And this one is called Trap. This one is very pretty. You can also use these and make these work with a very dark, like, like Night Moth from MAC, a really dark plummy color. Very pretty. Then next up we have Huda Beauty Flirt. I think this is a gorgeous color also along like the nude slash taupey grayish kind of family. Very pretty. I like that one a lot. That one would pair well with the dark browns. Then we have the very light peachy nudes that I think look gorgeous on lighter brown tones. Um, this one is Honey Love from MAC. I like this one. This one is very light. Though, so this one you absolutely would have to pair with a dark lip liner 100% and you guys can rock Honey Love. Do not sleep on it. Do not sleep on the dark lip liner. Some of you might think, oh my god, that's not for me whatsoever. Try it with the lip liner, I promise. The next one is called Modesty. And this one is a cream sheen. Also very lightweight. These are from MAC, of course. Then back to lip stains, I have this one. This one's called Bleached from Lime Crime. And this one is a very light peachy color. Do not be afraid of these, I promise you guys. I have worn all of these and they've looked bomb. I promise, 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 promise. So this is what that looks like. Bombshell from Huda Beauty, which is a little bit darker. Like that. Then I want to get into this one. It is a very light color. You guys might be afraid of this one, but this one is Carmelo from Stila. Very, very light color. Almost similar to Bow and Arrow. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys probably can't even see it. I will insert swatches, but this is very pretty on top of that brown lip liner. Alright, so the next one I have is Tried and True, my baby since I started YouTube basically. Um, this is Bare It All from Wet n Wild. Literally, you can get this for 99 cents and it is the most perfect light nude color ever. It is still on the market and it is so pretty. The next one I got um, as gratis when I worked at Nordstrom. This is the Rouge Volup. So this is a YSL lipstick, a little bit more higher end. This one is number three. And this one is a very nice like pinky nude color. Now if you guys are into lipsticks, these are really nice. They don't last a long, long, long time. But they're very hydrating and if you want something a little bit more higher end in like the YSL range, this is perfect. Then I have one from Clinique. This is called Toasted Rose. I used to wear this a lot. Clinique has this lip liner I think called Chocolate Chip. I used to use that a lot with this and it made a perfect nude color. So pretty. Love that. Then another YSL color is the Rouge Volupt 28 and this one is a little bit more on that brown nude kind of side. That's what that one looks like. 
These are gorgeous for summer. I love them for summer because it gives your lips that kind of sheen um, while still having color. They're perfect for like the beach and stuff like that. Or I mean, if you're going to an event, it's not going to last long, so you will have to retouch, but they're beautiful colors. I love that. So this is Mare. It's kind of more of like a pink but still can be considered a nude. Then one of my favorite colors back in the day is this one. This is number 13 from Kiko Milano. Um, what is this? I don't know what the name of the line is, but this one, when it dries down, it's like a lipstick, but it's like a lip stain at the same time because as soon as this dries down, it leaves the most beautiful color. The next color that I love is called Blushing Nude from Clinique. This is what the blushing nude looks like. It's like more on that like pinky nude kind of side. So the next up is Spore Collection Lip Stains. I personally love Spore Collection Lip Stains. They're very hydrating. They are not drying whatsoever. And they are extremely long wearing. Oh my goodness. This one is number 23 from the Sephora line. I would absolutely recommend this if you're looking for that really nice brown nude. 23 is gorgeous. The next color is number 41. So now I'm getting into more of like those like really like mauve nude colors. This one is number 41 of course. And this is what this looks like. I think these colors, the mauve nude colors and the colors um, coming up are great for darker skin tones. Like darker than mine. I would say these are like... Probably like Halle Berry, Kerry Washington shades and on. Um, a little bit darker than me, but still kind of in the light range. And to, to skin tones such as like Naima's, which are really nice, rich, deep skin tones. I think these will work well and some might work as very light nudes. Okay, I'm running out of light here, so I'm really trying to hurry it up. Okay, so then the next color I have is from Ofra Cosmetics and this one is called Mocha. I like that. I like that a lot. Then the next one is from Wet n Wild. This one is called Give Me Mocha. So this one is a little bit deeper, but still very, very, very nice. Very nice. Again, please remember pairing these with the darker lip liner will make them work for you. Even if you think these won't work for you, pairing it with that darker lip liner will absolutely make it work. This one is from Milani. This is called number 29, Teddy Bear, which is a really nice nude, brownie nude color. I like this one. It's more, it's a very brown nude. These smell really good too. Then we have from Urban Decay. This is called 1993. Very pretty nude color. I like that a lot. That's a really nice brown nude. That is gorgeous. And these are pretty long wearing as well. I like that. The next one from Clinique is called Clove Pop. That is Clove Pop from Clinique. Very pretty. Wow. The next color that I love is called Whirl. Whirl is a matte color and it is a gorgeous nude. So pretty. This also has a lip liner to it and I love that lip liner. At the end of the video, I will list some of my favorite lip liners as well. The next one that I like a lot is this nude stick and this one is in the shade Greystone. It's a magnetic matte lip color. This one is very matte though, like very, very, very matte. Like even as it comes out, it just, it just looks so very matte. Um, so that's what that one looks like. I really like that because it does last a very long time on the lips. You don't have to think about it. But you want to just apply it very lightly because you don't want it to clump up, which can happen with this one. So just apply that one very lightly. What I have is from ColourPop and this is called Tansy. It's a very unique color. I don't know what kind of brown. I'm really trying to not say poop brown. <laughs> but it's a very unique color. It has a little bit more um, like of a clay color almost. So pretty, I love that, like a terracotta kind of color. Alright guys, so the last two colors that I have, this one is Lime Crime Salem. I'm obsessed with this color. Yes, girl, yes. And then I have the last one, which is Cloudscape that I mentioned before as I use as my chestnut. This one is the most prettiest chocolate brown ever. This is a true, true 
chocolate brown color so those are my top nude lipsticks for brown skin of all ranges i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this was helpful for you guys for sure check out the top 10 that i had at the beginning of the video that is definitely something i feel like will give you the absolute most bang for your buck those are the ones that work on my skin tone if you guys are my skin tone if you guys are darker or lighter check out these other ones these other ones also can work for my skin tone as well it's just a matter of if you go into sephora and you swatch it try it on does it work for you but keep in mind that these ones are all workable and you're able to use it with that lip liner and i personally like lip liner because i feel like it la it makes my lipstick last a lot longer i feel like i can get a precise line so my lips look cleaner um and it just keeps the lipstick in place that's why we use lip liner a lot of people don't i never used to before until i did and then i was like wow this is like amazing like i don't want to not use lip liner anymore so like i said a couple of the lip liners that i absolutely love using are more so nude lip liners MAC Cork is a very pretty one. It's very, it's a little bit lighter than Chestnut from MAC, but it still does the job. So there's Cork, there's Chestnut. Whirl is another really great one from MAC. Then colors that are not MAC, of course, the Kiko Milano 314, which I showed you guys before. It's a very nice dupe for the MAC Chestnut. Then I like the Kiko Milano 301, which is a very nice, like, browny kind of just a nude on its own type of color and then of course Huda Beauty trendsetter right there I like that one as well but I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching I'm really excited to do this series so go ahead and leave me down below any lip colors that you use that you think are perfect for brown skin or that you think work well with your skin tone tell us your shades tell us give us some like a range of what skin tone you have any other women are reading this and they read your comments we'll know what skin tone you are and then we'll be able to kind of you know help each other out that's why I'm on here. I want us to help each other out. I want us to be a community. I don't want us to hate each other. I want us to like help each other. If I don't know the answer to something and somebody else knows that is like a follow of mine, I want you guys to help each other. I think it's so great. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out my Reese Babe Instagram because all of these nude swatches will be up on Reese Babe. And if I do have time, I will do some lip swatches on my Reese Babe account. So go ahead and check out Reese Babe. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Yay! Bye.